In example 1, we want to evaluate the following logarithmic expressions. You shouldn't need to use your calculator for any of these. Take a moment, work them out yourself first, pause the video, and then resume when you're ready to see the solutions. For this first one, we have log base 5 equals 25. I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to x, so we're solving for x. Log base 5 of 25 equals x is equivalent to base 5 to the x equals 25. This means x equals 2, thus log base 5 of 25 equals 2. For the next one, log base 1 half equals 2, or log base 1 half of 2, again, we'll set this equal to x. This means base 1 half to what power will equal 2? And 1 half to the negative 1 equals 2, thus x equals negative 1. So log base 1 half of 2 equals negative 1. Log base pi of the square root of pi. I'm going to rewrite that as log base pi of, as pi to the 1 half, and this equals x. This means pi to the x equals pi to the 1 half, thus x equals 1 half, log base pi of the square root of pi equals 1 half. The we notice something really important here. And that's that if we have the log of a base times that same base to an exponent, then the log undoes that base of the exponent, leaving just the 1 half. And we can see that with the above problems as well, that log base 5 of 25 can be written as log base 5 of 5 squared, which equals 2 that log base 1 half of 2 can be rewritten as log base 1 half of 1 half to negative 1, which is negative 1. And back to the problem we just did, log base pi of the square root of pi can be written as log base pi of pi to the 1 half, giving us the answer of 1 half. Let's look at the rest of these. Log base 17 of 1 which means 17 to the x equals 1. But we know if we want to make a base raised to a power equal to 1, then that exponent has to be 0. So x has to be 0. Or we could look at this as log base 17 of 17 to the 0, which would equal 0. Essentially, either way, you end up with log base 17 of 1 equals 0. For the next one, log base 16 of 4. This means that 16 to the x equals 4. Then we know that the square root of 16 equals 4, so x has to equal 1 half. Or we could write this as log base 16 of 16 to the 1 half which equals 1 half. Again, either case, you get log base 16 of 4 equals 1 half, because 16 to the 1 half equals 4. Lastly, we'll look at log base 10 of 1 over 100. We get 10 to the x equals 1 over 100 meaning that x must be negative 2. Or we could write this as log base 10 of 10 to the negative 2, which again equals negative 2. In either case, log base 10 of 1 over 100 equals negative 2.